Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna go over whatever else we're doing now. We got some big wins today up to uh, mid rank 16 on the mini account, and we finally made it into gold on the main account. So chugging along, making some progress, and uh, yeah, guys, I do appreciate it if you throw in that code chicken in the shop. You know the drill, expires every seven days, blah, 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 blah. Um, so appreciate you, uh, those of you that do choose to support. Um, so yeah. Like I said, we made it up to gold, finally. A little bit late, but better late than never. Um, <clears throat> so today I kind of backtracked. So what we did and what we ended up doing today was I went back and I got DBD um, and I got mines. So yeah, we needed shock launchers, but the thing was I wasn't going to get shock launchers today. And <coughs> excuse me, um, I wasn't going to get shocks today. So, you know, I was either waiting for shock launchers or pushing with mines and DVD. So I opted for that route. And I think that was the smart play because it at least put us in gold. It's stuff we're gonna have to get anyways moving forward. Um, and yeah, we could get Grenadiers, but obviously we wanna get that microwave and that shock launcher, I think. Um, the thing with, you know, the, the weird thing about this tech tree is that as we move forward, it's a very long time before we get to Bombardiers. Um, it's actually 200 keys to get just to get through all this way, I believe. 30 something, yeah. So, whatever the math is, it's, it's gonna take a very long time to get to Bombardiers. So, until we get there, that's gonna be a grind. And we want to, um, you know, like, because if I wasn't, you know, if I was to say skip getting shocks, or skip getting DVD or whatever, then I'm just grinding it out in iron. And yeah, the chest values, this, um, there's only a one key difference between the two, but over the course of a few days that, you know, it, it does start to add up. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think we made the right play here, but, uh, yeah. Also this base, this base is sweet. Uh, I was in low rank 14. I switched to this base and we went on a huge run. Um, I think I got to 16, 11 was the highest, but either way, um, yeah, there's a few different ways of attacking right now. We'll just kind of talk about it as we get into some, but um, mechs, mechs are a thing. Mechs are definitely viable right now. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I would go as far as using all mechs, but um, we can definitely on this base. So the problem with some of these bases is like this one with the DBD, right? You can check the boost over here. Um, with the DBD, we can't really heavy rush this. I mean, we could, but it's really dicey whether we're going to finish it or not. Um, so what I like to do instead, and again, this is going to, if you're going to do this attack, um, you essentially have to have really strong defenses because you're relying on them to either fizzle or get an even slower time than you. The thing with the mechs is they'll finish the base for sure. Um, <clears throat> especially with cluster grenade, we'll, we'll actually be able to rip through the middle and clear out all those mines. It's, it's really nice. Um... But uh, if he's able to heavy rush us with battle orders, he's going to get the better time every single time. There's no competing on time with this attack strategy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, a couple things we can do. We can do either, you know, 4-4 four, four, uh, heavy mech. We can go all mech. Uh, of course, we could be using battle orders still. Um, I like to just kind of farm up a little bit and then clear out enough stuff and then go hard on the, uh, on the cluster grenades. We still have enough heavies alive here to make it work, I think. Um, but you'll see right here, um, we have enough clusters to really just burn that engine down and then we can go over here, do the same thing. Um, I wasn't able to get all of them off, but <clears throat> there we go. Boom. So three minutes and one seconds, not too shabby, not too shabby. So we can do some, uh, we can do some stuff like that and you see what I mean? Like, sure. He's going to be able to heavy rush us and finish, but, um, Sorry, he's he's uh, he's gonna fizzle. So we're we're riding on the base on that one for sure. Um, so yeah, we can mix mechs in. We can go all mechs, um, or we can go heavy rush and switch battle orders to iron will. Um, <clears throat> I haven't had any success with that. I've seen guys do it to me and they pull it off. Maybe their break is max level. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the uh, uh, what the you know the the deal breaker there is, but. It's, you know, something to try out, at least. Especially if you have an upgraded brick. Um, so we don't want to go cluster. I think this one will try just the old battle orders. 
and we're gonna let the heavies go out. So how I like to do that is you see how I let those heavies grab the flag? Sorry, I'm gonna have to focus here for a sec. Um, <clears throat> that helps us keep the uh, the shock launchers off because it it uh, it pulls those heavies to the right. Otherwise, it is tough. Um, I don't know what happened there. He must have had max DVD, and that microwaver just rinsed me. Um, that was actually the first time I've ever seen that happen, where we got totally because uh, he didn't have flames or mines. I I I've definitely not fizzled on a base that didn't have either of those things. Um, up until this point, so that's a weird one. But what I was trying to explain was um, shoot. what I was trying to explain <clears throat> was the well. That doesn't matter. I was going to uh, force close, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, why is it still ongoing? <coughs> was the placement of the heavies? That's how you want to do it. So that's going to distract the shocks better, but you see, I don't flare here right away because if you end up, if you flare right off the drop, what happens is all your heavies kind of end up together. So an easy way around this is just wait to the absolute last second to flare onto the engine just as the heavies are starting to target the defenses, and that's going to keep your other heavies over on the right side. Now, I, I still don't know what happened here. We must have got, yeah, for some reason the shock launcher targeted those ones instead of the other ones, so we sat in that microwaver. Or no, he did have flamethrowers. I'm, I, I, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure I have coronavirus right now, like I feel awful, but we're slugging our way through. <coughs> but either way, let's see. Um, this guy's got flames, he's got shocks, this is a weird one. Um, he doesn't have DVD, so we should be fine. Um, okay, let's go like that. And let's move, move, move. Brick's in a good spot. Get out of the microwaver, please. Got a lot of flamethrowers coming up, but we don't have mines and we don't have DVDs, so we should be okay. Um, all right, let's let him get through here. Slow on the flare. That could cost us. As long as Brick stays alive and gets her shot off, we should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Boom. 326. Should be a dub. Let's see. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's like shock launcher seems so strong for everybody else, but whenever I go up against them, I don't have a horrible time, usually. Sometimes, yeah. Um, but usually not so much. Okay, let's go all the way back over here. Um, okay. So yeah, that's the base. That's the idea, guys. Um, <clears throat> we'll do one more, see if we can get back into gold here, but, um... Yeah, we simply, I, I don't know. I think the microwave will be a nice push point and the shock launchers, but other than that, um, the boom mines are going to be nice too. Once we get to that point, then we're really going to be laughing because, uh, <clears throat> you know, we've got all the defense. Like all the guys that are in, you know, 17, 18, 19 right now, they've got everything, right? So that's the difference. We probably won't be able to shoot up as high. We'll be playing catch up for most of the season, but we'll figure it out. All right, let's go one, two. And then the same thing again. I really do feel like this is the best drop. Okay. It also throws some heavies right on that engine right away, so we get a little little chip damage. I think this guy has DBD because it looks like we lost quite a lot of troops there. I'm really slow on my flares. I gotta work on that. My timing is way off. Um, ouch. One is retreated. That's what we like to see. So there we go. We got back up into gold, guys. So, oof, eating shocks left, right, and center, but uh, able to manage it, manage it, uh, an okay time. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up right there, guys. I'm losing my voice, but uh, I appreciate you. And there we go, back into gold finally. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. So let me know what you think of that down below in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you find it interesting, entertaining, or informed. Catch the next one, guys. Chicken out. Bear, bear.